Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to customize your icons on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So the first thing you're going to want to get, do is go into a browser, and you're going to want to search Internet Explorer icon or anything like that, because I'm going to change my Safari icon. Then you have to go into the options over here, and you're going to change your size into icon size. So I'm going to scroll over here and let's just say I'm going to want this one. Go to original image. I'm going to do save image as. Now I can just minimize that. And we're going to want to open this up. And we're going to want to file save as a PNG file. Because that's the one you need changing. I'm also going to rename it as Safari exactly how it is because that's gonna you're gonna need that to actually change it so for every app you're gonna change you're gonna have to rename it exactly how the app shows up on your springboard once that is saved on there I'm gonna want to SSH int or I'm, first I'm gonna want to create a folder let's just say I want to call it icons okay so then I can open this folder up and inside here, I'm going to want to create a new folder. And I'm going to want this folder to be called Icons. Exactly how this is spelled. It can't be any different or it won't work. So in here, I'm going to want to put my Safari icon into there. Or my Internet Explorer icon called Safari. Now, once I have this, I'm going to be able to open up to SSH. I'm going to use Cyber cyberduck to SSH in here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into VAR, then scroll down and get into stash there, and then into themes. And from here, you're going to be able to drag your icon into the themes file. You can wait for that to load into there. And once that, once my iPod gets Wi-Fi going, it'll copy itself into there. So now what should happen is, oh, we can try again. So the icon folder is going to be go into the themes folder into here. And now once that's done, I'll show you how to look into your winter board and find that. Okay, so once you have put the icons folder into the, your theme section of your iPod Touch or iPhone, you're going to scroll over and you're going to want to find your winter board. Once you click on that, you'll be able to see that your icons folder or whatever you decide to call it it's now in your winter board now you're going to want to press this and this will call it cause your iPod touch or iPhone to respring once you click the home button again okay so once your iPod touch or iPhone has resprung itself you're going to want to open it up here and you'll be able to see wherever your safari is that your I the icon there has changed change to the, whatever your picture you decide to put there. If it wasn't right, the right icon size, it might be too big or whatever, but if you play around with it enough, you'll be able to find the right size for it. So, you can just see that if I just press it here, you'll be able to see that it'll bring me up to the Safari. So, it's a pretty cool thing to do, and it, it works for all the icons. You just have to make sure you follow all the directions, and and put the right call the picture the right thing. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, this is Skull 544.